very funny comedian. I'm honored to say I've seen him a few times. He's a good friend. He's a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Shane! What's up, everybody? Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Shit. Everybody here acts like uh, y'all been kind of angry or something. Everybody here go to the dentist or something today? Y'all seem a little agitated or something. Did somebody not get their volume this month or something like that? Is that what happened? Hot damn, man. It's all good, though. How you doing there, young man in the checker shirt? Oh, how are you? I'm doing damn good, man. Hell yeah. I see that you uh, happen to date out of your range. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, you must have a good job. It's good. Or a huge cock. So either way, a man who wears a shirt like that has got a huge cock. I can just tell by looking at you. I, that color of red looks good on you, ma'am. I bet on the end of the first date, he said, it only hurt until you pass out. You'll be fine. What's up with y'all, guys? Man, what's it say? Illegal on your shirt? Or illegal. What does it say? It says illegal. A man that looks like you should not wear anything that says illegal on it. Trump will be president again, motherfucker. I don't know about you, but I don't like walking across the desert or swimming or any of that other shit that comes with it. Hey, man, what you choose to ride on you, man. You call it a banana boat if you want to. That is completely fine. Nothing wrong with that. What you laughing at back there with the red hat on? Hell, you. Yeah, you right there, right behind him. Hell, you don't think I'm gonna fuck? Not fuck with you too, right? That's it. He's Cuban. He's Cuban. Yeah, he's Hell yeah, Fidel Castro. I bet you can roll one hell of a blunt. Dude. That's the only good thing about keeping Cubans around. Shit. I want to steal your pills, but hot damn, head down, roll the blunt. I'm just fucking with y'all, man. Shit. Oh man, anybody here ever? Uh, in, oh, I'll, I'll do. I'll go this direction. Anybody here a parent? Anybody a single parent? Anybody single parents around here? Man, I tell you what, I was raised by a single parent, and there ain't nothing worse than them fucking boyfriends coming over. Man, that is some fucking bullshit. One day, one day, this motherfucker one time brought me a fucking happy meal. Do I look like a fucking happy meal kind of guy? <laughs> You go out there better than fucking Happy Meal, huh, damn? Look at that shit. I'm at least a 20 piece nugget kind of kid. Fuck that. Oh, okay. So I cock blocked that motherfucker all damn night. I did every which way I possibly could. I was like, nope, not my mama. Nope, not my mama. It's time for me to go to bed. Nope, not this time. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you want me to sit in the back and not pay attention to it. Cause hey, it's nothing worse than hearing your mama fucking. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You can be 13 year old hard dick mid masturbation and hear one moan come out of your mama's mouth and that dick is limp, just done for. He don't even want to come out to piss. You know what I'm saying? fucking gross, man. Ugh. But you know what? Even your grandmama fucked. I hate to tell you that. That's why you're here. Grandma did nasty shit, man. This is back before they had feminine hygiene products. Can you imagine what that was like? It's like fucking fucking in a sewer every time you get up. You had to be tough back then, man. Shit. Like my damn ex-wife. Now, I'm not going to say that. She was a very nice young lady. She kind of let herself go once we got married. Like, I'm serious, man. The bitch quit bathing afterward. I'll tell you, if I wanted to clean pussy, I had to do it. I had to clean it for her. It's kind of fucked up. That's why I am divorced now, by the way. There ain't nothing worse than getting that smell off your mustache. I don't give a fuck with anybody. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? I had to walk around telling everybody I like tuna sandwiches for years, you know? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. It's... Oh, man, I drove a truck for years, man. If you couldn't tell by looking at me. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> but I drove a truck for years, man. And all these truck drivers always talk about all these titties they see. Titties, 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 titties. 
You don't see titties. You see cocks. Dudes love showing their dicks. I'm not exactly sure why. It don't matter the age they are, they love showing dicks. I, I wish I could, but the obvious is the obvious. You know? But it was about two o'clock in the morning, and I see the light switch on in this old Grandpa Lincoln guard. Right? I was like, oh, hell. And as a truck driver, you have to look down. You have to. I don't know what it is. But I looked down, and this old man looked up and caught me in the eye. He was butt naked, beating the bottom out of his penis. And I did the only proper thing to do at that moment. I stared in his eyes until he finished. That's the only nice thing to do at that point. Can't help it. What's going on, man? Y'all look happy tonight, man. I'm telling you. Man, is, is it, did somebody, you know, did you not get to check this month or something like that? Man, y'all y'all don't forget them. Whatever special drinks or whatever the fuck they do it here tonight. You might want to drink punches to them motherfuckers. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that. I want you to, like, have a hard time driving home. Just leave before I do, you know what I'm saying? You know, a long time before I do. We'll be fine. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming out. I'm glad y'all come to the competition tonight. No shit, man. Uh, support local comedy. It's always a fucking wonderful thing. And I'm comedian Big Shane. Thank y'all tonight, man. Continue to be the man, my man. You got it? Oh, hell yeah. Y'all have a good one now. Yeah.